Back in September, Blackmagic Design announced a few new products to their line. The one that I was least excited about is the one that I'm most excited about right now. It's an actual camera app, and it's similar to Filmic Pro. I think there are some great things about this app. There's also some not good things about the app. In the menu under camera, the first function will open up sub functions, the top one being the zebras, which will show you what's overexposed. Next is focus peaking. I chose green. You can choose red or blue, and you can dial up or down the intensity. Next are the frame guides, so you have your thirds, center, and then you have a little dot for the center. You can use any combination of all three. Next is our aspect ratio, so you can choose 185. The cool thing about this is you can go to square formats, 4-3, four, 1-1, one to one, 4 to 5. If you want to shoot full frame and then crop in for Instagram stories or reels. Next are your safety guides. I don't see much use for that on here, but it's, it is there and you can dial it in. False color is really important. If you look on the left-hand side, there's the gauge. Red is what's overexposed. Purple are the darkest parts of the shadows. And then a LUT. If you have a LUT that you want to load in, you can do that. You can also do your own focus, set your own ISO. Stabilization, you have standard, cinematic, and extreme. Magnification and then your metadata. A lot of these functions you can control on screen just by tapping, you know, similar to the Blackmagic camera. So if I wanna change my frames per second, I just tap on that. Same with the shutter. Uh, the shutter will go all the way up to uh, one eight thousandth. With your white balance, you have the presets that you can click on or you can manually dial that in. For media, that's where all the footage is stored. Chat is a function if you subscribe to the Blackmagic Cloud. And last but not least, the settings. So where you set your codec and your color space, your camera settings if you want anamorphic or vertical video to enable, your audio settings, your monitor. You know, there's a lot of different functions in there that are quite useful. I could see it being a good B-roll camera. I think it's great for those really quick clips that you wanna make if you are posting to social media, if you do create content for YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. First things I notice with this app is in highlight situations, when it's really bright out, you are absolutely going to need some type of ND filter on there. It was a normal, nice, sunny day. The ISO had to go down to 50 and it was still blown out. I had to push the shutter up to, I think, one one thousandth. You can't beat the price. It's free and I'm, pardon me, I'm still kind of pissed that Film Pro burned everybody and said, we don't care about your money. And you know, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not getting over it. Sorry. Uh, it's just bad business. I did a short video with it, a YouTube short. It's not gonna replace my cinema camera, but it's good to have in those moments where you're in a pinch and you just wanna shoot something or you just wanna make something fun without getting every, everything out and you know, and it's free. So can't beat that. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, I really appreciate it. Uh, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. See you in the next video.